everyone welcome to today's video so in today's video we're going to be looking at the ipad pro tips and tricks it is always nice to know tips and tricks and it makes life so much easier please subscribe to our channel it will really help us a lot we're trying to get to 100k so hit that subscribe button and that bell button to get notified when we upload a video it will really help us a lot so let's get into this video so here is some of the most basic things to know about the ipad pro over here is the power button and if you press on it it will lock your screen so you can just unlock it and if you press and hold the power button it will enable siri as you can see down there and if you press and hold the power button and the volume up button you can turn off your device and if you click the power button and the volume up button it will take a screenshot so if you click on a screenshot that you just took you can draw and edit on it as you like and over here you can change the transparency of your image and over here you can share your image so here you can choose which tool you'd like to use and the colors and here you can share your screenshot and if you say done you can save to photos save to files or you can say delete screenshot and will delete it from your gallery so if you have an apple pencil you can take a screenshot with it so you swipe from the corner to the middle and it, there you took a screenshot so here is your tools again and if you want to switch between your tool and eraser you can tap on your pencil there you can see it switches and it's so nice and easy to draw with the pencil so if you swipe down you can see your notification center so if you swipe from the right down you can see your control center and you can also edit your control center by going to settings control center and here you can edit and say you want your magnifier and they will just add it for you so if you swipe down there you can see I just added that so if you swipe up here you can see all the previously opened apps and to remove the apps you go like this with one finger or you can go with multiple fingers to remove them quicker so if you're in an app you can swipe back and forth between different apps so there's different settings on the layout of your home screen so if you go to settings home screen and dock there you can see more or bigger so let me show you the difference the bigger is where it is this big and if you swipe like this there is your widgets and it's all blurred out over here so if you say more there you can see the icons are smaller and there you can see your widgets and your applications so on the bottom here you can see this is the recently opened apps so some people don't like to have that over there so you can just change them in settings again at home screen and dock and on the bottom you can see show suggested and recent apps in dock let's turn that off and there you can see just these icons are displayed i personally like to have those over there it makes it much quicker for me to access when i'm busy working so if you're typing and you don't want to type with this big keyboard you can just pinch it then it displays a smaller keyboard so you can just type with one hand it's like a phone's keyboard and if you pinch out it will make it the original size so let's look at some of the bluetooth devices that you can connect to your ipad pro so here i have a bluetooth keyboard so i just say connect so let's see how it works go out let's search Kayla's world there you can see it works perfectly and here I have a wireless mouse as you can see a Logitech and I have this bit that I have to plug into a dongle okay so let's just put that in there and here you can see it works You can also connect a dual sense controller to your iPad. So go to settings, then you press and hold these buttons, and then you will see a blue light flashing. Then you will see dual sense wireless controller and it's connected. And then you can play games and enjoy it. 
Notes is always helpful to use and you can use it for everything. So let me show you some tips and tricks on notes. So let's open notes. So if you tap with two fingers, it will select a word. If you tap with three fingers, it will select a sentence. And if you tap with four fingers, it will select a paragraph. So this is where it gets even better. So let's say you want to copy this paragraph. Pinch your three fingers. It copied the paragraph. And if you want to paste it, you just you pinch out. So another thing with the same three fingers. So if you want to under, you swipe left. And if you want to redo, you swipe right. This is why it's nice to know these tips and tricks because they are very helpful and much quicker. The iPad Pro is perfect for multitasking. So when you're on this side and you want to drag some of your documents to this side, you can also play your music and bunch of stuff. So here you can see, let's open files. Let's open Safari right there. Let's open music. Let's put it there. Let's say notes. Why not? Let's open message. So you can drag this one on that side. Make this one like that. And then you can scroll through these ones. The iPad Pro also has a 12 megapixel ultra wide selfie camera which is great for taking wide photos and that is where Sintra Stage also comes in. I did a whole video on that so I'll put a link for it on the eye on top. If you go into the camera, it also has a wide angle shot. If you want to select multiple apps and move them, you can press and hold on one app and tap on the others. So when you throw them where you want, they'll just display there. So this one is really cool. You can use your iPad Pro as a power brick. So you can charge anything that is smaller than your iPad with your iPad. So let's see. Let's plug it in. And it's charging. So you can charge your iPhone or your AirPods. And it's because the iPad has such a big battery. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and that you have learned something from it. Please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell button to get notified when we upload a video. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I hope you guys have a lucky day. Bye!